today is 8 october 2020 and we were discussing the queuing theory in last class we have discussed about a queuing system the input the service mechanism the queue discipline and the customer's behavior that is what we have discussed and we also discussed the transient state and steady state so transient state means the probability of different cases like in a particular time period how many number of people are in the system that probability pn if there is n number of people then the probability of having n number n number of people in the system is pn will be independent of time period then it will called a steady state and if the number of people n at a at a particular time period in a particular system if varies with time then it will be called a transient state if we uh, discuss about a example when a railway counter opens then there is lots of people are coming in and joining the queue and in that case the number of people in the system is a varying condition and the probabilities of there is n number of people in the system is is varying with time so that is a transient state but after 30 minutes we will find the number almost uh, becomes a fixed constant one and on that time the number of people joining the line is almost becomes equal the number of people coming out from the line so as a result the number of people which is almost constant like n in the system and it, it and it becomes independent of time so that state is called a steady state this is just an example of transient state and a steady states now we have to know to how to derive different equations before that before we derive different equations and going into more details let us uh, discuss about uh, some parameters like all the properties a customer interested in is mostly the four parameters okay you suppose go to library and find a long line what you will think fast how many people are in the system or the length of the system so i can write the customer interest in number 1 the length of the system okay so now it includes the people or the customers in line plus the number of customers getting serviced they are having the service that means they are talking to the library people okay so that total people is length of the system which is denoted as ls next the length of the queue which is denoted by lq this means how many number of people are standing in the line so this ls and lq are related and we will discuss the relationship later on next what you are interested in if you go to a line or what a customer will be interested in the waiting time in the system waiting time in the system is denoted by w in s so s means system and q means uh, a, this small q represents a q so waiting time in the system means the time you wait in a line plus the time you get the service so here the total time is ws the time you will be engaged in the system is ws now to some people this is not so much important how much time 
is being served that is not important important they think the waiting time in the queue and that is represented by wq so if you look on these four parameters you see the length of the system and the length of the queue of course are related and the length of the system and waiting time in the system is also related the length of the queue and the waiting time in the queue is also related so these four parameters are interrelated one with other okay so later on we will try to find out how the relationship is okay now here this lambda mu c these are inputs lambda means the input parameter which we have assumed to be a poisson distribution lambda unit per hour or lambda customer per hour or per unit time or per minute or per uh, day mu is the exponential service rate exponential distribution service rate okay and c is the number of channels a number of servicemen a number of service counters now <clears throat> we will discuss about the single channel queuing system so that means only one server is there like a doctor's chamber there is only one doctor is giving you the service so c equal to 1 that is what we will discuss now before that we will define some parameter as say pn pn is the probability Sir, lambda mu or c is actually given, sir. Ki bol nota. Okay, sure. Lambda is the okay, input rate, which is number of customers per unit time. Mu is Service rate. Sir, three number or four number? Three number or four number? This is waiting time in the system, and this is waiting time in the queue. Okay, we is service rate. Number of uh, lambda is number of customers coming in. Coming in the system per unit time, and the service rate means the number of customers living out per unit time from the system, and C is the number of service channels. Okay, now PN. Now PN. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you are welcome. Now PN is the probability that there is n number of sorry n number of people in the system at any particular time so the expected number of people being served is lambda by mu and which is denoted as a row and this row is also called traffic 
intensity which is a very important parameter and we will see its usage later or it is also called the utilization factor we will require it when we solve problems okay so is the scenario clear the unit of this yes sir okay thank you the unit of this row is called erlang okay it is uh, unit of row is p r l a n g unique one the unit is erlang now there are different type of systems available uh, let me discuss you one by one let, let me discuss it with you so i i was giving examples in earlier class like a doctor's chamber a mechanic's garage doctor's chamber mechanics garage and i also uh, give an example of railway counter so there are almost similar thing but there are some differences too for example for example in a doctor's chamber and in mechanics garage there is a similarity similarity means suppose this garage have a, a holding capacity of 10 cars okay so there are holding capacity of 10 cars and the doctor's chamber having say 20 seats so if the when the doctor's chamber or the mechanics garage opens so, so few people will come, they will find the seats, they will join. Now, when the 10 cars, garage has been totally filled up. Okay, now the 11th person come in and they will find that all the 10 spots in the, in the mechanics garage or the 20 seats in the doctor's chamber are occupied. So, that guy cannot join in the line they have to leave so that means here the capacity of the system is limited but beside if you look at the railway counter there is a provision of having a long queue of you know 100 200 people they can join in line so basically there is a large number of people or in we can say infinite number of people they can join in the system okay so this having capacity is infinite but beside doctor's chamber and mechanics garage having capacity finite so systems capacity is an important parameter and as well as also the population is a very much important one like in a doctor's chamber only a certain area will be covered the people who are coming in doctor's chamber will be around the area or the in if in case of mechanics garage only the local cars will come and join so the population we are talking about here is just a you know uh, smaller area a single pin code or a double pin code or three pin code this much area say uh, maximum of 10 square kilometers this much smaller areas but if you look at the railway counter so you will find as it have infinite capacity
and infinite uh, facility their ability to serve is large that's why people about say 100 to 100 square kilometer this much people will come to shiala railway counter for example or howla railway counter so in this case the number of people coming in or joining in is infinite and so the population from which the people are joining the system is infinite so what i'm trying to say is the pop population means from which the people from which area the people are coming in and joining in so i'm giving you another example so that you can better understand a factory containing 30 machines which needs maintenance and there is only one dedicated maintenance team so as a result here the number of customers are 30 so the population is 30 that is fixed and the service channel is one maintenance team so the service channel is one the population here is 30 because any of these machines is being maintained by the maintenance team so the total machines that can be maintained is 30 which is a finite number so here that means the customers here are from the finite capacity but in in case of the people who are coming to get a ticket from shialda or Hawara railway station or from Delhi railway station that is infinite so is the capacity of the system and the uh, population of the system is these two terms clear Clear. Yeah. okay now then we go forward now there are different models associating with these uh, chapter queuing theory basically four of them are most popular and most required one and these models are named or uh, or indicated by kendall's notation okay k k, k e n d a l d a actually double l s can uh, apostrophe s so kendall's notation this is used to define different different models here it is written as a slash b slash c okay this is one part second part is d slash e here a means the probability law for the arrival probability law for arrival b the probability law for service so here this is Poisson distribution this assumption and this is exponential distribution now in any system the people are coming in of course is not fixed with time so that's why we assume them and we we, we define them in a probabilistic manner and we assume that the people are coming in in the system following Poisson's distribution with a rate of lambda person or lambda number of customers per unit time and mu number of people are getting serviced per unit time from the system following exponential distribution now c is the 
as I said earlier, is the number of channels. In case of doctor's chamber, there is one doctor who is giving the service. So, number of channels in the doctor's chamber, that example is one. Okay, in the mechanics garage, there is only if there is only one mechanic or if there is a team of mechanics who are being who are servicing only a particular car together, then the number of channels is there also one, the number of service counter is one. But in railway counter, we see multiple number of counters one beside another working simultaneously. So the railway counter there is the number of channels are more than one. The D is the capacity of the system. which we have just discussed the capacity of the system and E is basically the Q discipline now depending on this uh, method the Kindle's notation method the four models have been prepar prepared and this model number one we will start today so model number one and it is represented as m slash m slash one what does it mean the M, this gives the probability law for arrival, which is a Poisson distribution. This is the exponential law this is the number of service channels this is the capacity of the system and this is the Q sorry Q, Q, Q discipline okay now then we, sh we could have written here a b why we have not written a b we why we have not written m in this place because this positions and exponential both distribution having the Markovian properties okay that's why the M is used Markovian property okay this is just for uh, theories these are not required for solving problems okay I am just giving you informations but this is not uh, you need not remember so now when we when a problem is given problem statement is given and but looking at the statements you find out the given data and analyzing the given data you have to understand which model uh, the question is and mostly we will focus on model one only and later on if we have time then we will discuss the other models also but from for now on we will uh, discuss the model one only the uh, let me give you an idea about the other models also then we will go for details in uh, model one now we will discuss model two here sorry 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 Here the notation is M M one colon N F C F S. So this is the probability law for arrival. This is probability law for 
service this is number of service channels n here is the capacity of the system which is finite n is a finite number and and it denotes the capacity of the system and this is again fcfs so what is 1 and 2 are quite similar only difference is the capacity of the system here is n here the capacity of system is infinity now the model 3 is m m s colon infinity f c f s here this first m gives you the probability law of arrival second m gives you the probability law of the service and this s means the number of service channels are s which is a finite number but greater than 1 this is capacity of the system and the q discipline is fcfs so if you look model 1 and model 3 are similar but this is a multi multi channel system now model 4 is here this is this first m is law of arrival probability law of arrival this is probability law of uh, service this is the number of service channel s greater than 1 but a finite number n is the capacity of the system this is fcfs just for example you go to a uh, large barber shop or a, or, a, or a bigger saloon there the number of service channels will be more than one and the number of sitting capacity is limited to n so if there is n plus one number of people this person cannot join inside the saloon and he have to leave okay so there are different number of capacities here this n the capacity of the system should be greater than s so this is what you need to remember n should be greater than s and the rest of the things here you will find similar with model number 2 model number 2 and model number 4 are quite similar the only difference is here now model 4 is a multi service channel model 2 is a single service channel okay now so we have learned steady state and transient state also so in steady state how we mathematically show it we show that the pn the num the probability that there is n number of person in the system at any time t will be pn if this pn at time t taken limit and this t tends to infinity then if it becomes pn which is independent of time t then we call the system is in steady state and in such case we can write d of pn into t with respect to dt will be equal to dpn dt and that will become 0. So, this gives you the steady state condition where this pn is not dependent on time t. So, the pn remains constant as per the probability. So, you, you have to remember that, that this is the just the probability uh, we are talking about. In actual, there might be difference. 
because the number of customers coming in is never a constant this is always random and just for analyzing purpose we have taken as a probabilistic manner and that's why the poisson distribution is followed and we just uh, reading and uh, gathering the data we just find out the lambda now these uh, these uh, distributions have memoryless functions that means this lambda and mu of today does not depend on the lambda and mu of yesterday this might be different so that's why we call them as a memoryless function or memoryless property okay so now we will try to uh, derive some required uh, relationships just a minute i need to drink some water okay so i hope up to this point you have understood uh, this chapter very clear because later on we are going to uh, be inside a little more uh, complex things is the basic things clear up to this point sir okay okay yeah. Now we will discuss the dif the different relationships in a single server unite Q length model or model number one. We'll discuss on model number one, and for that we need to make an assumption. that at the main assumption is in a let us write it up assumption number one is only one event can take place in a very small interval of time h okay h is a very small interval of time and in that small time only one event can take place so only one arrival or one departure may occur more than one event cannot occur and this lambda and mu are are having memoryless property that means they will not be affected by the previous day's data okay so now let us start and you need to focus the probability that there is n number of person in the system at time t plus h is given by pn into t plus h okay 
at time t plus h there is n number of people in the system the probability of this event is given by pn into and uh, not into a pn at time t plus h and how that may happen how that may happen focus listen very carefully how this event can occur there are different options suppose there are n number of n plus 1 number of people in the system at time t okay this is time t this is time t plus h at time t there was n number of person now how this occurs one person get served okay suppose there is one person get served and no one arrives as at time h only one event may occur so at n minus 1 if at time t and this will become n at time t plus h if one arrival occurs and no service occurs okay and there could have been n plus 2 people in the system at time t and two person get served but that is not happening because only one event may occur if two person get served then there will be two events so on h interval of time or h time period only one event may occur that's why i am not writing n plus 2 n plus 3 n plus 4 these probabilities and here n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 number of people in the system that's what we have we are not discussing here because it is assumed that in h time period only one event may occur if there was n plus 2 number of people and two people get served that is not happening by the uh, assumption similarly here we we could have said there is n minus 2 number of people in the system and two person arrives in h time then th this will be n but that possibility is not happening here because in assumption we have said in h time period only one event may occur either one can arrive or one get service so that's why we are not taking account into the probabilities of n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 and here on n plus 2 n plus 3 n plus 4 these are just ignored by the assumption now if there is n number of people in the system and no one arrives and no one get served then also there will be n number of people and there is also another option if there is n number of people one arrives and one leaves then also it will be n so in that case this h time period there will be two events one arrives one leaves so two events cannot occur that's why during this h time period that option will not be taken but here no option is happening nothing is happening that is of course a criteria this is considerable there is nothing in happening nothing is happening that's okay but not more than one is allowed okay so i am writing out what we have discussed in this little graph so the probability sir it is yes. clear holo na sir ekta particular sir clear holo kon jagah ta kon jagah ta bolo sir ei gulo sir eta ki bolen eta bujhte pacchi mane prothom theke bolbo t t plus na sir ei portion ta ei portion ta mane mane shudhu graph ta ke ar ekbar puro ta bole debo tai to ha sir ha sir okay this is the the in the left hand side this this is the condition of 
time at the at the instant of time t this is the things which are considered at time t plus h here i have i have to know that how this pn at t plus h we can get that means the number of person is n at time period t plus h how we can get this number of person n in time t plus h how that is found out how we can achieve this condition that is what we are discussing okay is the objective clear how we get that there is n number of person at time t plus h that is our target now how can we get that is n number of people in time t plus h that is question is the question clear Sir. Okay. Now, okay. we suppose at time t there is n plus 1 number of people. Okay. So, if at time t there is n plus 1 number of people, after h time period when time is t plus h there will be n people. How can we get from n plus 1 to n? one person get served and simultaneously no one arrives then from n plus 1 we will get n is it clear yes sir okay okay now if there was n plus 2 people then from that we could have got n if two person get served no one arrives okay yes sir but that is not allowed because in our assumption one we have written here only one event can take place in a very small in interval of time h so in this h time period two person cannot get served only one event occurs that means only one person can be able to get served so that's why this one this here n plus 2 n plus 3 n plus 4 number of people their probability not is not possible only if there is n plus one number of people and one number of people get served that is allowed now if at time t there is n number of people and one arrives one gets served then also at time t plus h we can get n number of people one arrives one gets served but that is two event for the same assumption we cannot allow this because there will be only one event otherwise there will be no event these two conditions may occur but more than one event cannot occur so that condition what we are discussing one arrival one getting served is not possible but no event is occurring here n number of people was in the system in h time interval no one arrives no one gets served Thus, the total number of people in the system remains n. That is a possible event. Because nothing is happening. That is allowed. Okay, sir. Now, if there is n minus 1 number of people and one person arrives and no one gets served, then also the total number of people at time t plus h will become n. before it was n minus 1 1 arrives no one gets service so then it becomes n now yes sir, if, yes sir. if there was n minus 2 number of people then two person arrives no service then also we could have got n two event there not possible <laughs> sorry yes you are right so there will be two event not possible so there are the number of people who are the number of people n at time t plus h that is possible only by these three conditions okay so yes sir yes sir thank you sir okay okay give me two three minutes okay i know the time is up just give me two three minutes so that i can write just one line so we'll write these conditions up in case of probabilities so if there is p into n minus 1 i mean 
there is n minus one number of people at time t period and with adding p here shows me the probability of person n minus one at time t into probability that here this case I am writing probability that one arrival into probability of no service okay plus if there was n plus one number of people in the system at time t the probability is given by p into n plus one i mean p suffix n plus one at time t into probability that one service and no arrival i mean probability of no arrival plus there was probability of being n number of people in the system at time t into probability of no service into probability of no arrival no that's it okay what we have what we have discussed here i am written them in mathematical terms and from next class we will discuss after this line we will put the values here and we will continue is this point clear up to this point is it clear okay so before next class you join you must go through on today's class it is a must otherwise you cannot understand the next class so must give a review on today's class okay thank you for joining do not miss the next class because these are not properly given in books Sir, sir, what is the last line? Probability of no arrival. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. This, this, this. No one arrives. No one gets served. So this condition okay, we sir. have discussed here. We have written it here. Okay, okay. So, any questions? Any question in today's class? No, sir. Okay. Then I am ending the meeting and we will meet you on the next class.